Hi there. In this video I want to introduce our new NetPicker plugin for Netbox. This is our way of integrating the NetPicker automation platform with your favorite source of truth, Netbox. So this plugin enables you to use the features that NetPicker is good at, so for example configuration management, change tracking of your device configurations, global search, job execution and backup management from the Netbox interface using the power of NetPicker. And in this video I want to give you a short demo on how it works and how you can uh, set it up. So you can find the plugin on PyPy. So if you go to this link, you will see installation instructions um, that you can run on your local Netbox instance. A prerequisite for it to work is that you have a NetPicker set up. You have created uh, some devices in here uh, or you have imported devices from Netbox itself, which you can do via this add devices import from Netbox option. Or even better, if you have Slurpit, our discovery platform, you can use Slurpit to discover devices in your network and push them to both Netbox and NetPicker automatically. So you always have an up-to-date device inventory. Once you have the devices set up in NetPicker, you can go to uh, your NetBox instance and you will find an extra menu item here on the right called NetPicker. If you go to the settings, you can put in the URL of your NetPicker instance, your tenant name, which is default by default, and an API key that you can obtain via this link, which will go to our API token generation page. So if you paste that value of the API key in here and click save, then your NetPicker instance is synced with uh, your NetBox instance. And you can go to the device list here. This will contain all the IP addresses of the devices defined in NetPicker. And if they match any of the devices in uh, NetBox uh, based on primary IP, you can click through, for example, this one. And you will find two extra tabs here in the device overview. One for backups and one for change history. If you click on backups, you will see the data that's stored in NetPicker um, for each of the backups that be ha have been made from your device, including the date, file size, who started it, which can be a job or a scheduler. And if there's any errors, you will find them here as well. With this button, you can quickly download the full configuration, or if you click it, you will see the plain text output. The change history tab shows you the diffs of the configs. You'll see here in red lines that have been changed or modified, and in green lines that have been added. So this is the same view as in NetPicker with a little less uh, layout applied. So if you want to see a more graphical representation, we provide the link here. If you click that, it will open it in the Git diff editor that is built into NetPicker. And as you can see here, like this line has been added. Besides showing the backups per device, we also provide a very handy global config search feature that you can find in the menu here. If you go there and you provide a keyword, it will look through all your device configurations and it will uh, show you the lines that match your keyword. So in this case, I've got two devices here uh, with, uh, this with these lines matching the Cisco keyword. This is very handy if you want to search for uh, config drift or anomalies or security issues over your complete uh, device inventory. So this uses again the backup information that's stored in NetPicker. Uh, device backups actually are stored in a Git repository in NetPicker. So you can also clone them to your local system if you want to have more control or if you need to export them in order to use them in other scripts. The next feature that we enable with the plugin is running and viewing the output of automation jobs. So automation jobs are the most recent addition to NetPicker 
and these are Python jobs that enable you to make changes to your device configurations. So by going into configure mode and uh, running CLI commands, you can automate a lot of processes that you would have done manually via the CLI for all your devices. You can now do from netbox. So we provide some example scripts already to, for example, configure a VLAN. And in this demo, I want to show you a very simple way of running a, an automation job on a device. So if I go to this job, which I created before, it's a, a job, very simple job to uh, set an NTP server and it runs the command NTP space server. And then this is a variable that you can fill in when you execute the job. The job is uh, applicable for Cisco iOS and NX OS. And if I click execute, then I can select devices which match this platform. In this case, I'm picking the first one. And you see here that it's, it matches devices known to NetPicker by IP address and have the platform there for which the job is applicable. And this is the variable for the NTP server that I want to set. So for this example, I'm gonna choose this value 223 at the end. And then there's this button, render commands. This will give you a preview of the actual CLI commands that it's gonna run on the device. So if I click that, it says here, commands to devices, that will be NTP server 192.168.1.223. If I click execute now, it will actually run that job in the background asynchronously. So we have to wait a little bit until it's finished running the job. So part of running automation jobs in NetPicker is also that we create a pre and post change backup. Um, we do this in order to, at the end, display the diff in the device configuration um, based on the commands that have been executed. If I click on the logs tab here, you will see the logs of the job and you will see here that this one is already finished. So if I click this log, I can see the variables that it's uh, used to for this job. In this case, setting my NTP server to 2323, the job status, how long it took, and most important, the complete log, including the Python code that's being executed, and also the CLI commands that it's running on the device. So in this case, it first goes into configuration mode, then it says NTP server to 223. For a more graphical representation, I advise you to go to NetPicker, which you can do if you go to automation jobs and then click this button open in NetPicker, and then go to the job logs. And then if I open this job, I will see the exact same log, a little bit more nicer formatted, and also a more clear diff display, where you can see that this line has been added. So you can also create an automation job from NetPicker. For this, you need click this add button. You provide the job name, the platforms for which the job is applicable. So I'm choosing NXOS and iOS again. And then here I can provide my CLI command. If you want to use variables, then you can put them between curly braces. Like this. Then I click create. I can edit it if I want. Or execute it. So if you would need more flexibility in editing the jobs or you want to create more advanced Python jobs, I suggest you click this open in NetPicker button, which will show you the existing jobs and you can click on those and have like a full Python editor available including the options to dry run and to run from here as well. So besides the features that we enable from NetBox, NetPicker provides also vulnerability scans, compliance testing, advanced reporting, and way more. So I suggest you check out NetPicker if you haven't by going to netpicker.io. We provide a sandbox environment in where the NetPicker plugin is already installed, so you can 
try it out without having to set up anything on your local system. And if you need support, you can go to our Discord channel or submit a ticket via our website. So we think that this NetPicker plugin for Netbox is an amazing tool for you as a network engineer and enables you to automate things that you previously had to do by hand. Bye bye and see you in the next video.